Hello, this is a short introduction to SDR Angel uh, using the Hack RF1 transmitting and receiving module, but in this section we'll only be using the transmitter and the RTL SDR version 3. Uh, the RTL SDR is rated from uh, up to 1.7 gigahertz and the Hack RF1. Uh, up to 6 gigahertz so uh, we'll be operating uh, somewhere around 400 megahertz for the purposes of this demonstration so the first thing we do is to uh, download SDR Angel which is available pretty much everywhere um, and then open the uh, open the, the page of SDR Angel and you will be presented with this there may be some uh, leftover icons or windows from previous versions in which case you can just close all those because this is the workspace that you need to begin. Um, okay, we have all the usual things at the top here. Uh, W0 is Windows 0 or Workspace 0. Okay, you can have a number of workspaces. We're only going to be operating in a single workspace today. Um, there's a number of icons across the top here. This one here, the, uh, the, the blue arrow, enables you to start and stop everything in the, in the workspace. Uh, we won't be using those today probably, we'll be using individual start and stop buttons on the transmitter and receiver. Uh, this icon here represents the selection of a receiver module and this icon here represents the selection of a transmitter module and that's all we're going to worry about for today. So the first thing we're going to do is to click on the receive module and you then get this list uh, to select a sampling device. If when you drop down this list you find that your connected device is not listed, you can click on this circular arrow which refreshes the device list. And that goes away and checks to see what devices are connected at the time. Drop down, okay, we've got the HackRF which we're going to be used for transmitting, and the RTL SDR which we're going to be used for receiving. So I'll click on that, click on OK, and that will then open a receiver window with the uh, frequency, um, the sample rate, RF bandwidth filter, and most importantly the gain control. Always remember before you do anything else to turn the gain control about halfway up. It's very easy to forget and very frustrating um, if you don't. Now when we start the um, module um, you can see there's a green line in the centre here, which is actually a DC function from the RTL SDR. That's not always a good thing to have, so we've got a button here marked DC, and if we press that, that takes away that DC component. Particularly later on when we're looking with work with video, uh, it's important to get rid of that. Uh, I'm not sure what the other things are there, but we'll ignore those for the time being. So this button here is the start and stop button. So you can see that the blue button here and the one here both work together. Okay, this one starts the individual module, this one will start and stop everything on the page. So we have a receiver module, what we don't have is a decoder of any sort or any sort of demodulator. So we have a receiver which is the RTL SDR0 tuned to 435 megahertz um, and we're going to add a, mod a demodulator. So this button here uh, which, I don't know, it looks like a sort of triangle with with circles on the end. Anyway, when you hover over it with the mouse, it said add channels. So click on that, and you'll then be given a list of demodulators that you can use with this particular receiver. Um, we'll start off, um, let's be adventurous, we'll start off with an SSB demodulator and, uh, and see how that pans out. I've not used this before. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see uh, how that works. So having got the modulator on the modulator on the screen, we'll press close. Uh, now up here, um, we've got the sideband selection because this is single sideband. You can see at the moment it's showing up a sideband. Uh, if we use the left and right arrow here, we can click to change the sideband from upper to lower sideband. And if you click that button there, you can get double sideband or single sideband. The um, Okay, so that's all we should need to do to get a received signal in SSB. 
Uh, so we'll set this, this is a frequency offset. You can have more than one demodulator. Um, I'll activate a different demodulator as well, only to prove that it can be done. So if we want, let's say, a, um, a narrowband FM demodulator at the same time, uh, do, 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 and an FM demodulator, we can grab one of those. Now this frequency offset here gives us a frequency difference between the, the base signal, the center frequency here, and the signal that we want to receive. So let's just change the decimation down to 1. Uh, you can see we've got 435 megahertz to 435, sorry, 434.5 to 435.5. Um, so we can go up, let's say we go up 200 kilohertz. You click on the, uh, the digit, digit and then use the up and down arrows on the keyboard uh, to move the frequency of the received signal. Uh, so what we now have uh, is we have an FS SSB demodulator sitting at exactly 435. And we have the narrowband FM module, which is sitting at 435.2. Uh, and you can add any number of these modules uh, and, and therefore listen to several channels at the same time. And that's a really important feature of um, SDR Angel to allow you to do that. Uh, if you want to monitor several channels at the same time, you can put several different demodulators in uh, and listen to those channels simultaneously, uh, which is not a feature that you get with many of these SDRs receivers, as far as I'm aware. But we're not going to do that. We'll get rid of that one because that's just a, that's a, it's a really, really nice feature um, and, and very, very useful, potentially. So what we need now is a transmitter because uh, we have a receiver, but we don't have anything to transmit. So I'm now going to add a transmitter. So remember, we press this button here, which was to add an RX device, add a receiving device. Now I'm going to press this button here to add a transmitting device. Now the transmitting device we've got attached is the Hack RF one so we're going to click on that click ok and you can see that it's brought up the transmitter here you'll notice that these it's t and t as distinct from r and r zero and r zero um t for transmit r for receive uh, same frequency same sampling rate uh, give or take um and you've got the window here for the waterfall etc now I'm going to um, add a modulator. So we're receiving SSB, so we want to transmit SSB. So bear in mind that these are two entirely separate radios that are connected to this machine. Uh, there's our SSB modulator. Uh, and we're on upper sideband. So the, the controls are the same as for the receiver. Okay, the differences are that we've obviously got things like microphone, um, and you can also have a Morse key or a tone modulation. So I think what we'll probably do to start with is just put a tone modulator and see what happens there. So if you click the tone button, that will bring in a tone. So let's turn off, turn on the receiver. Turn on the transmitter. And press the tone button. Uh, where did it go? And there's the one kilohertz tone. Is a bit hideous. Um, so I'm going to press the microphone button. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to spin it slightly. Right, we are having issues here because we're getting feedback. Um, let me go back to the tone. Let me turn the volume down. What we got there is actually some feedback which is not helping. Um, we want that tone to be exactly 1 kilohertz. So I'm going to have to adjust the frequency of the receiver. Uh, up a side down so I can really get up. Five, four, three, two, one. 
One, two. Mm -hmm. One, two. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So there we are now we've got something resembling all this. Now obviously I'm transmitting this evening and also got the microphone open and the speaker's open. So there's also a bit of feedback. Back, let's move that away for a second. And that received audio right the way down. One, two. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, turn the microphone off. Um, in order to select the audio source, you can right click on the microphone button and that will give you the, the, um, the sources of audio that you can have so you can transmit using any different sort of audio. So this is a bit unusual because I'm using the same computer uh, with two different radios, a transmitter and a receiver, um, and also transmitting within the same room, which is all a bit bizarre. Um, so we have actually got full duplex. The HEC RF1 is only a simplex transmitter receiver, um, which is why I'm using the RTL SDR as the receiver for this um, for this process. So let's just cancel that. So that really gives you an introduction into um, into how you can start using this. There's plenty of tutorials around. Um, the documentation for SDR Angel is absolutely fabulous. Uh, it describes each individual window um, with incredible accuracy, telling you what everything does, every single part, and I don't propose to do that here. Uh, it was just to get you up and running very, very quickly with either a transmitter or a receiver, whatever you want to do. Um, and you can, you would normally only have one of these on the screen unless you're running full duplex. Um, and of course you can run full duplex crossband. And as I said, you can have multiple channels as well. So uh, there's a lot of uh, lot of scope here for things to do. The next video is going to be completely different. That's going to be about um, digital TV. Uh, this was just an introduction to SDR Angel and how it works with uh, with a couple of radios at the same time, running uh, running full duplex mode. So um, so for the time being. Um, we're going to leave you with the parts that we're using today, which is the SDR Angel, the Hack RF1, and the LTL SDR dongle. So, um, thank you very much for listening. <laughs>